Hi, I'm Dennis Schaefer from louverandlight.com. We're going to take this beautiful door. It is a beautiful wood door, and we're going to change it. We're going to make it a work of art with products from louverandlight.com. Go right online, order them up, and transform this door into a beautiful work of art. What we're going to do is we're going to take this solid wood door, this beautiful door that was up there, and we're going to add in a light. Uh, this is called a door light. It's a four light. It's a 20 by 32, and it comes all already put together. Then you just take it apart comes in two sections and I'll show you how to install that in the door. And then what we're going to do is take what's called plants, door plant or plant moldings. And we're going to add that to the bottom of this to dress this door up even more. So I'll show you how to do it. Once we've got this separated, we've got the glass out of it so we don't have to worry about damaging the glass. The easiest way to do it is to take the frame itself and level it up, make sure it's all the same on all sides, and then you can just trace it in place. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to take measurements from the side. So the width of this, although the glass was 20 inches, the width of this is 21. You'll always order a door light one inch wider than the measurement that's on the website. So if you're ordering, if you need something to go into a 21 inch hole, you're ordering a 20 inch door light. So you measure that and we got 21 as our overall measurement. The door width is 31 and three quarters. So we're going to take off that measurement and find the equidistance from side to side to make sure this is centered in the door. So being that we've got 21 inches and 31 and 3 quarters, the difference between the two obviously is 10 and 3 quarters. Half of that would be 5 and 3 eighths. So it's 5 and 3 eighths from each side of the door. You want it to match so it has a look all the way around it. So we're going to do 5 and 3 eighths from the top of the door. Once you get it all lined up, got all your measurements in place, then you can trace out this and use the light as a template. Now that you've got it all traced out, you know where the light's going to go, we got to tape it. And the reason we got to tape it is because we've got this beautiful wood door. You cut through this, it's going to chip. So by taping it, you can use blue painter's tape, it works really good. Um, by taping it, that way you, you make sure that you're not going to get all the chips in the wood door. It also means you got to redo the, the drawing again, but it's worth it. It's also important when you're putting your saw horses underneath that you make sure it's not in the air you're going to be cutting, otherwise you just lost the saw horse. I made all those measurements for the back side, so I had the tape below when I'm cutting through. This time I'm going to make the measurements, going to tape it, and then you put the, the top light on as the template. Because you're using the light as a template and you sketched out around the unit, Keep in mind you want to cut to the outside of the line with your jigsaw so that it's not too tight in regards to the opening. You've got a little play because you've got the frame around the light. So now we're going to drill a, a hole in each of the four corners, okay, because we need to drill the hole so we can get the blade in for the jigsaw to be able to cut all the way through. You want to drill right in the corner because you've created this template and you've got right in the corner using the cross as the center for the drill bit. So right inside that corner that's where you drill. So now you got your holes drilled and you're going ready to go ahead with your jigsaw. We're going to be cutting again, remember, on the outside of the line and cutting it all the way out. We've got the underside protected with the tape so we shouldn't take any of the veneer off. And we're ready to go. Now that I started cutting, I realized I didn't have my safety glasses on. And you should always wear your safety glasses. I don't care how stupid you look, you have to have safety glasses. Keeping in mind this is a solid core door. Once we get this all cut, if the sawhorse is in underneath this big slab, that's a big piece to drop. So at this point, when you get the top cut and the side cut, you can move the sawhorse underneath the top so that it's to hold that in place. Okay, got the slab cut out. The scary part's over, cutting into a beautiful wood door. <laughs> that's kind of scary, but it's done, nice and clean. We'll take off the tape, make sure there isn't any deflections on the skin of the door that we need to sand off, and we'll do that now. Double check to make sure you did the right job, and you did. Nice tight fit, you ready to put the glass in. Before we put the glass in though, always remember, make sure you've got the inside and the outside figured out, because the outside has no screws in it. The inside is where the screws go. Um, so remember that as you're putting it together. Flip up the door so the inside of the door is facing up. Put your saw right about halfway in between, so we can put the outside frame underneath 
and then set the glass and the inside frame on top of it to be able to assemble it. Apply silicone to the outside frame along the door and where the glass will sit. You can get this product at any home center. Set glass panel onto the lower frame. Then install the inside frame with 10 brass screws. Okay, now we get the glass all installed, put in place. We'll go ahead and uh, button these up when we're going to stain the door and finish that off. So, now we're going to put on plants. Now the plants are just a nice decorative molding, and we're, but we're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to measure it up, make sure it's proper from the sides, from the top and the bottom, and that's what we're going to do. So now once you got that set down, you got all your measurements, write them down because you're going to have to do this on the other side of the door to make it match on the outside. So write them down so you don't have to refigure it again. And this particular door, it's seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter, five and three quarters, five and three quarters. So those numbers I'll write down so I'll have it on the inside. We're going to apply these with construction adhesive. Um, we are going to need a couple of pin nails on there just to make sure that they can set. But the construction adhesive is what's going to hold it to the door. We got the plants on both sides of the door. We got the glass in. We're ready to put it up and see how beautiful it is. So, uh, and you can notice it's still daylight, so it didn't take that long to do it. We're done, all in less than two and a half hours. Look at how this turned out. You can get these products right on lubrandlight.com. The door lights, the door plants. Really, you can go to the design center on the site and look at all kinds of different designs. You can take a normal front door, a plain wood door, and turn it into a work of art. Thanks for watching.